The handshake that marked a new era in Egyptian foreign policy. Mohamed Morsi's visit to Tehran was not only the first by an Egyptian leader since the two countries broke ties in 1980, it also signaled an end to decades of subservience to Washington. But Morsi also had a message to his host, a country that has remained a key backer of Assad's regime. It is a moral duty to stand with the Syrian people against an oppressive regime that's lost its legitimacy. He's yet to turn that symbolic visit into something concrete. Morsi tried to join Iran, Turkey, Egypt and Saudi Arabia into a quartet of regional powers to help resolve the Syrian crisis, but with minimal success. It's really uh, trying very hard. You, you can feel that someone who is really trying hard to say, here I am. I represent Egypt. Egypt is an important state uh, in the region, an important state uh, in the world at large. Morsi was given credit for securing a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas after renewed fighting late last year, a file Egypt's intelligence agency has long been involved in. But he's been criticized for ignoring anti-government protests in Bahrain in what some suspect is subservience to Sunni regional powerhouse Saudi Arabia as well as ultra-conservative Salafi allies at home. His government hasn't also exactly displayed exemplary conflict management skills in dealing with the TIF with Ethiopia over its construction of a hydropower dam that could threaten Egypt's water supply. It was tough economic conditions at home that had Morsi traveled the world in search of crucial foreign investments, including China, India, Russia, South Africa, Brazil and Turkey. Morsi visited the United States to attend the annual United Nations General Assembly, but he didn't meet Barack Obama in Washington and the U.S. president skipped Egypt in a regional tour in March. Morsi started out seeking to establish a foreign policy that is independent of the United States. But in severing ties with the Syrian regime recently, he aligned his position with Washington at a time of growing domestic discontent against him. The kind of turbulence that's been affecting the democratic transition in Egypt, which analysts say has been holding Obama from fully embracing the Egyptian president. Raoui Al Jazeera, Cairo.